good morning students welcome back to the class of social science lesson number 3 today i am going to explain the second part movement towards a new world points to be discussed today are world war second forces of the second world war in the previous video you have studied that um, uh, what were the background for that uh, second world war that after the first world war the people became poor the government uh, which came after the war that they could not uh, solve the problems of the people people did not have a faith in democracy dictatorship was established in many of the countries uh, and we have seen that uh, uh, the militarism was established in uh, japan and um, great global depression they these were the factors uh, that prepared the background for that uh, second world war so the treaty of versailles was had uh, sowed the seeds of a second world war paris peace process had displaced uh, many of the nations uh, so a series of events happened after that that led to that second world war so first one first factor that led to the second world war was that a fierce nationalism nationalism means a love for one's country fierce nationalism means the belief that a particular nation is better than any other nation that feeling is called a fierce nationalism for example germany and italy believed that they were better than any other nation that feeling is called a fierce nationalism so this fierce nationalism developed in germany japan and italy after the first world war and we have seen the treaty of versailles was unjust for germany and that uh, um, uh, allied nations uh, they blamed that germany was responsible for the first world war and they had imposed a war fine of 6.5 billion pounds on germany and germany is many of the places were also distributed between the allied nations so the germans they could never forget and overcome the treaty of versailles so in order to protect germany we had seen that a um, nazism was established in germany by adolf hitler and he followed the policy of a fierce nationalism and imperialism 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 means a powerful uh, countries uh, rule over that a weaker nation is called uh, imperialism so this is uh, adolf hitler that uh, he followed the policy of a fierce nationalism and imperialism he believed that uh, germany was better than any other country countries uh, and germany was a powerful country to could rule any other smaller nations uh, so in that belief uh, he started capturing capturing means uh, taken by force uh, some of the places of austria czechoslovakia and uh, Uh, he believed that uh, germans were the pure aryan race uh, so where that uh, in which countries uh, that germans were living they belong to germany so in that way he started in austria and uh, czechoslovakia also large number of uh, people were the germans uh, so he believed that uh, that that those places uh, belong to germany so he started capturing austria and uh, czechoslovakia and uh, we have seen that uh, italy also you know, uh, could not uh, forget that italy was in, ignored in the treaty of versailles when that italy in the first world war italy was on the side of allied nations so and italy had to spend 12 billion dollars and it had a low stakes 6 lakh soldiers and when that the germany was distributed between the that nations they did not give the many of the provinces to italy so that italy also felt that it was ignored in the treaty of versailles so in order to rescue italy we have seen that a fascist party was established by benito mussolini so he also started this fierce nationalism he also felt that this italy was better than any other nations and he adopted imperialistic policies he thought that means italy was the stronger nation and it could attack and capture that weaker nations so japan also to gave imperialism so japan also started this uh, imperialism attacking that uh, smaller nations so thus the world of peace was in danger so what was the first cause of that uh, uh, second world war fierce nationalism what is the meaning of fierce nationalism nationalism means a love for one's country fierce nationalism means uh, the belief that uh, 
um, a particular nation is uh, stronger than, better than any other nations. So which countries uh, followed this uh, fierce nationalism? Germany, Japan and uh, Italy. And uh, the Treaty of um, Versailles was unjust for Germany. Germany had to pay 6.5 billion pounds uh, and uh, many of its uh, places were take, distributed between that uh, uh, allied nations. And uh, Hitler had captured um, Hitler uh, came after that first world war and uh, he established uh, that uh, dictatorship in that uh, um, Germany and uh, he captured uh, some of the places of Austria and uh, Czechoslovakia because majority of the people were the uh, Germans uh, and uh, um, he believed that uh, the countries where that Germans were living that those countries belong to Germany. And Italy also could not forget that the Treaty of Versailles. It did not get any of the places. And under the leadership of Mussolini, in Italy also, he started that fierce nationalism and, in the, and adopted imperialism. Japan also followed the policy of imperialism. That means Japan also started attacking and capturing that weaker nations. Thus that world peace was in danger. Second cause of the uh, Second World War was uh, that uh, groupism. The countries of the world uh, were divided into many groups. Uh, that uh, the countries of the world, uh, they began to feel that uh, other countries are going to, uh, other countries were going to attack them. So they formed uh, different uh, groups. Uh, six groups were formed uh, after, I mean, so after the First World War. That uh, France was afraid of Germany. So France made a treaty. Treaty means uh, agreement. And those who are signing the treaties they would protect other countries so france made a treaty with them belgium poland romania and czechoslovakia so if that germany would attack france so these countries belgium poland romania and czechoslovakia would come to their help and that was the first group second group was made made under that italy and Italy signed a treaty with uh, some of the countries like uh, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, Greece, Turkey, and Austria. And the third group was uh, that, uh, um, that under that uh, Russia and uh, Germany, Turkey, Lithuania, and Iran they signed the treaty with the uh, Russia. And uh, we had seen in the first uh, um, part of this lesson that Italy had left uh, that League of Nations and uh, they had uh, Italy, Germany and Japan, they had uh, formed a new group uh, that came to be called a uh, Rome, Berlin, Tokyo group. So in that group uh, that Italy joined. Then England and France also formed another group with the democratic countries. Germany signed a non-aggression treaty with the Russia. Non-aggression treaty means according to that treaty that they would not attack each other. Germany would not attack Russia and Russia would not attack Germany. So the whole world was divided into different groups. First, German, France was afraid of Germany, so France signed a treaty with them, Belgium, Poland, Romania. Romania and Czechoslovakia. So in the first, which were the countries, which countries were the members of the first group? France, Belgium, Poland, Romania and Czechoslovakia. Second group was uh, that, uh, um, uh, who were the members of the second group? Italy, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, Greece, Turkey and Austria. And the third group, uh, who were the members? Uh, Russia, Germany, Turkey, Lithuania and uh, Iran. And uh, Fourth group was that Rome, Berlin, um, Tokyo group. And who were the members? Italy, Germany, and Japan. And England and France, they formed a group with the democratic countries. And Germany also means signed that non-aggression treaty with the Russia. So the whole world was divided into six groups. That was the second reason for that uh, Second World War. Third one is that uh, militarism. Militarism means uh, that uh, um, a country, sh the belief that a country should uh, maintain a strong military force uh, and be prepared to use it uh, to defend or that uh, promote uh, nationalism. Uh, that means uh, they sh the country would uh, keep uh, uh, soldiers, a uh, military group, uh, and a uh, strong military group, uh, and uh, 
they were they they used that a military group uh, to defend it uh, to protect the country or promote uh, encourage that uh, nationalism so that was the third reason for that uh, uh, second world war so that we have seen in after the first world war countries of the world were trying to establish peace in the world at the same time european nations uh, they were we seen make producing more and more weapons uh, countries of the world uh, felt that uh, means uh, the second world war world war would would occur so in order to prepare themselves in order to protect their country from this uh, european nations they started producing more and more weapons and uh, most of the countries they they were they were, uh, they they were producing war weapons better than the other countries and some of the countries like russia and germany they started compulsory military training and uh, all the nation means almost all the nations they started recruiting appointing more and more men into navy air force and army and in the east also japan had increased its military force even england and france they also wanted to produce more and more war weapons so what is militarism the belief that a country should maintain a strong military force and be prepared to use it to defend or promote nationalism so on one side the countries of the world they were making the efforts to maintain peace after the first world war at the same time most of the europeans they felt they were preparing for that ammunition they were that a competing doing competition to produce more and more weapons almost all the countries they felt that other countries are going to attack them the second world war would occur so in order to protect their country from this they started producing more and more weapons so this production of more and more weapons had increased in almost all the european nations and most of the nations they wanted to produce weapons better than the others and some of the countries like russia and germany they started compulsory military training it was compulsory for the people living in russia and germany to join in the military and almost all the nations they started recruiting appointing more and more men into navy air force and army and in the east also japan had increased its military force I means japan had appointed more and more people into that military and japan felt to that it should be used for to protect their country that is all they should be used to to protect the country or encourage the feeling of a nationalism even england and france they also try to help themselves with the war weapons then fourth reason for that uh, um, uh, second world war was that a failure of the league of nation we have seen that at the end of the first world war in order to maintain peace and the security in the world uh, the league of nations was uh, established and we have seen some of the nations america did not become a member of that league of nations and uh, this league of nations uh, and that uh, it, it could not become a supreme organization having control over that powerful nations of the world it could not control that america england france etc and the second one is that it did not have its own soldiers or army to make the nation to follow its principles or that ideals and uh, some of the mem um, member nations they were not ready to take their problems to the league of nations so if any problems arise in the world they should uh, bring before that uh, league of nations and it to try it to try to so uh, solve that problems but many of the nations they were not ready to take the problems before that uh, league of nations and uh, some of the nations they were not ready to accept the judgment passed by the league of nations and many nations had moved out of the league of nations we have seen many of the nations they left that league of nations those who were the members of that league of nations they could not capture or they could not attack other countries and we have seen during that time fierce nationalism and imperialism developed among the nations so most of the nations they wanted to expand their territories they wanted to conquer they wanted to show other nations that they were more powerful than the other nations so 
first uh, that Russia and then Germany that uh, um, left that League of Nations. Later, Italy and Japan also left that League of Nations uh, because uh, Italy had uh, captured um, Abyssinia. Japan had attacked um, Manchuria. Germany had taken some of the provinces of uh, Czechoslovakia. During that time also, League of Nations uh, could not do anything. And uh, we have seen that uh, those who were the members of that League of Nations, they were very greedy nations. They wanted to have uh, more and uh, more uh, powers. They, by attacking or capturing, they wanted to show to the other world that they were more powerful than the other countries. And uh, when that uh, six groups were formed uh, in the world uh, after the First World War, that time also this uh, League of Nations uh, could not uh, do anything. So what was the fourth reason for the failure of the fourth reason for the Second World War that uh, was a failure of the League of Nations. Uh, so why was that League of Nations established after the First World War to establish a uh, peace in the world? Uh, and what were the failures of this uh, League of Nations? Uh, first one is that um, it could not become a supreme organization that are uh, having control over that uh, powerful nations of the world. Uh, and the second one is that it did not have uh, its own army soldiers to make the nations to follow the principles. Uh, those nations which are not following its uh, policies, uh, if it would have uh, that uh, soldiers or army to could uh, capture those places, but it did not have uh, its own army. And uh, then next third third reason is that uh, member nations they were not ready to take their problems in front of that League of Nations, or that uh, if a League of Nations uh, were solving the problems, they were not ready to accept that uh, suggestions. And uh, then next one, fourth reason is that, uh, the reason was that, uh, that uh, many nations left that League of Nations. So those nations who became the members of that League of Nations, they um, could not uh, attack or capture other countries. But uh, this uh, Russia, Germany, Italy, etc., they wanted to expand their, um, um, expand their empire by following the policy of uh, imperialism. So in the beginning, Russia and Germany left that the League of Nations, later that Italy and the German, Japan that left the League of Nations because um, Italy had uh, captured Abyssinia, Japan had attacked uh, Manchuria, Germany had um, taken some of the places of uh, Czechoslovakia. And then also that this time, that, that time also that the League of Nations uh, could not do anything. And uh, the greed for power among several nations became stronger in the League of Nations. Uh, and when that uh, group groups were formed in the world, uh, this the League of Nations uh, could not uh, do anything. Then the Treaty of Versailles. Uh, the real reason for that uh, Second World War was the Treaty of uh, Versailles. Uh, so in that uh, Paris uh, peace process uh, formed that uh, Treaty of um, Versailles. Uh, and uh, the Allied nations uh, blamed that uh, Germany was responsible for the First World War. So it had um, uh, to pay that uh, 6.5 billion pound as a war fine. And it's a mineral rich Ruhr province was uh, taken away. And the river Rhine had to be opened for that international sea route. And the German people were not satisfied with that. And when dictatorship was established under the leader, under that Adolf Hitler, he considered that the Treaty of Versailles was a piece of paper. And he decided not to Pay, not to pay that uh, 6.5 billion pound, not to pay the amount, uh, and he decided he announced uh, to reject that uh, treaty of Versailles. So, so treaty of, what was the fifth reason for fifth cause of that uh, Second World War? The Treaty of Versailles. So the Treaty of Versailles was responsible for that uh, Second World War. The real reason for that Second World War was the Treaty of Versailles, and the Paris peace process uh, formed that uh, Treaty of Versailles. So. Uh, and, and that uh, um, the Allied nations uh, blamed that uh, Germany was responsible for the First World War. So they imposed uh, um, 6.5 billion pounds on Germany. And uh, it's a, a, a mineral rich um, Ruhr province was uh, taken, distributed between the nations. Uh, and the river Rhine had to be opened for international sea route. Uh, that uh, Hitler considered uh, this treaty of Versailles as a piece of paper. And uh, he announced to uh, reject it. Uh, 
Then sixth one is that imperialistic ambition of uh, Adolf Hitler. Imperialism means uh, the powerful nations uh, that uh, capture and uh, control over that uh, weaker nation is called uh, imperialism. So that Adolf Hitler, he was highly ambitious. He wanted to make uh, Germany as one of the, uh, uh, Germany as a number one in the world. And he wanted to make uh, Germany as a superpower in the world. And uh, he said uh, that imperialistic attitude, uh, ambition was uh, responsible for that second world war and he was a fierce nationalist i told you not fierce nationalist means um, the belief that uh, uh, a particular country is uh, better than any other nations uh, militarist in nature means uh, that uh, keeping a mil strong military force uh, and they use that uh, military force uh, to defend the country and to encourage that uh, nationalism so this um, adolf hitler he was an imperialist uh, he was a fierce nationalist and uh, that uh, militarist uh, he wanted the unity stability and uh, prosperity of uh, germany at any cost uh, so he wanted that uh, germany would number one in the world World, and he wanted the unity, stability, and the prosperity of Germany at any, any cost. The I means uh, in order to follow the policy of imperialism, first he attacked uh, that Austria, and uh, with the help of uh, Germany on twelfth uh, March nineteen thirty eight. So there was a meeting at uh, that uh, Munich, uh, um, uh, Munich. So in that meeting. That uh, um, Munich Convention was uh, held uh, in um, on September 28, 29, 1938. So during which uh, the leaders of uh, Britain, France, and Italy agreed to allow Germany to annex uh, certain areas of um, Czechoslovakia. So where was that uh, Munich Convention? When was that uh, Munich Convention? It was uh, on September 28, 29, 1938. So what they have uh, decided that uh, uh, Britain, France, and Italy agreed to uh, allow Germany to annex uh, means uh, join that uh, some of the places of uh, Czechoslovakia. So on the very next day of that uh, Munich convention, Germany had captured, uh, captured means uh, taken by force uh, Czechoslovakia on 1st October 1938. And he had captured uh, mammal port of uh, Lithuania in March. Thus a very big, uh, very vast uh, German empire was, uh, ma was made by Hitler. So this imperialistic policy of uh, Hitler was responsible for for the second world war so what is what was the um, uh, sixth reason for that uh, second world war imperialistic ambition of uh, adolf hitler adolf hitler was a fierce nationalist he thought that uh, um, uh, that a uh, germany was a uh, um, um, better than any other nation and he wanted he kept uh, a strong military force uh, and used that uh, strong military force uh, soldiers uh, to defend the country or protect the country and uh, promote that uh, nationalism among the people and uh, he want, wished that a uh, unity stability and uh, prosperity of uh, germany at any cost at any way that uh, First, by following the policy of imperialism, which country he captured first? Australia. Austria. And that also with the help of Germany. When he captured Austria on 12th March 1938. Then after that, the, the Munich Convention was on 28th, 29th, 1938. On the very next day, he had captured that means Czechoslovakia. That was on 1st October 1938. Then he captured a mammal port of Lithuania in that March. Thus, a very vast German empire was made. So how he expanded his empire? First, he captured Austria. Then he captured a mammal port. Then that he had captured, thus he made a very vast or very big German empire. So his imperialistic policy was one of the reasons for that, was the main cause of that first, second world war. So whose imperialistic policy was the main cause of that second world war? Hitler's imperialistic policy was the main cause of that. What was the main cause of Second World War? That Hitler's imperialistic policy was the main cause of that Second World War. Then immediate cause. What was the immediate cause of the Second World War? That Germany's attack on Poland. That Germany attacked Poland on that September 1st, 1939, early in the morning. And thus that Second World War started. 
France and the Britain warned Germany not to waste the war, but Germany did not give any attention or did not pay heed to this warning. And so Britain and France also joined the war. Thus that war spread in the whole world. So what was the immediate cause of that Second World War? Germany's attack on Poland. Germany had attacked Poland on September 1st, 1939, early morning. And thus the war started. So France and Britain warned Germany many not to start the war at once but Germany did not pay any attention to this and so Britain and France joined the war thus the war spread the whole world.